Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be working on setting up the basic shell. So let's get to it. Okay, so in this video we're going to focus on building the basic shell that we want for our chat application. So that will be basically going from what we've got here with a blank canvas to this, all right, where we have the container in the center of the screen and then we have all these sections set up. And I've just put a bunch of text in it to indicate what they are at the moment, okay? So this is what we're gonna be building in this video. So coming back over to my empty canvas, I'm gonna create this first shell here, this overall shell. So to do that, I'm gonna define a div and give it an ID of chat container, like so. Cool, and that's all I'm gonna do for now. And then I'm gonna come over to my CSS and I'm gonna use my first snippet. Now keep in mind, all snippets are basically attached to every video, so you can just grab them from there. So the snippet I'm gonna use is LD GC app chat container styles and tab. And when I do this, we now get a selector for the chat container that we just added. And I've added a minimum width of 800 pixels, so it'll never be any wider. Oh, sorry, it won't be any smaller than 800 pixels, but it won't be any wider than 1,000 pixels. The height will be at max 800 pixels. However, if we go less than 800 pixels high, the chat window will stay about 95% the width, height of the window, okay? I've given a width here of 100% just to ensure that the window will continue to grow, you know, even if it's more than 800, it'll try and grow until it reaches 1000 and then it will stop right there, okay? I've also given a background of white and a border radius of 10 pixels. So when I save this, we're gonna get this, okay? So pretty straightforward, it's just a div with some round borders that's white and is of certain dimensions. Now the first challenge is, is to get this into the center of the screen. So this is where I'm gonna ask you guys to stop the video, try this yourself, and then come back and I'll show you how we do it in a moment. So were you able to work that out? If so, fantastic. If not, well, we'll do it together right now. So the first thing I would do is I'd say, okay, this container is inside of what? And I'd look and I'd say, okay, we're part of the body element. So the body element in my CSS has a max height of 100%, so it's already spanning the height of the screen. We know it's gonna go the full width of the screen. So all we really need to do is make the body element a grid itself. So we can go body, all right, and go display grid. And in fact, I might move this underneath the HTML here, just cause I like to have HTML then body. So you make that a grid, and then when we do this, we know that we've got a one column track, one row track grid that spans 100% the width of the window and 100% the height of the window. So we don't have to really do much else than that, just specify it's a grid. And then all we need to do is understand that we just wanna take that container we have there and place it into the middle of the screen. And we, if you remember, we can use place items to do this. We're basically centering that grid item into the center of the cell. So I'm gonna go center, center, and save, and there you go, right? And that will stay in the center no matter what happens to the window, okay? It's always gonna be in the center. So that's vertically, and then horizontally, and we can check this out as well. And you can see it's still there until we reach 800 and then it will collapse. Anyway, so that's that. Okay, so we've done that. Now, the next step is to basically put in all these sections and put them where we want them, okay? But firstly, I need to define the HTML that I'm going to use to specify each of these sections. So I'm gonna come over to my chat.html and I'm gonna treat every single thing here as a direct child of this chat container, right? So what I'm gonna do is have six child div elements here. So the first one is div ID, and we're gonna call it search container, All right? And in here I'm just gonna put 
This is the conversation search. All right? Then I have another div. I'm going to give this one an ID of conversation list. And I'll put in here, this is the conversation list. Pretty straightforward so far. Then div ID, and I'm going to have new message uh, container. And then in here, I'm just going to put, this is the new message section. Right. And then I'm going to basically copy and paste these three here and just change a few things rather than wasting time typing out three more times. I hope hopefully you get the picture by now. So I'll just tap this over and I'm going to change this one to be, what are we going to call it? Um, chat title, chat message list, and lastly, We'll give this one an ID of chat form. And then I'm just going to update the text. So this one will say, this is the title, like that. And this one will say, this is the chat message list. And then lastly, this is the form section. Now, if I go over to what we have, at the moment we just have a bunch of divs in the top left hand corner, okay? But firstly, before I go to the CSS and fix this up, I just wanna quickly explain why I chose the order that I chose. So notice that I'm using search, conversation list, and new message directly after each other. But as we know with auto placement, by default, it would go left, then right, then left, then right, then left, then right, okay? so what would normally happen is that I should have the chat title as the second div in this list, all right? But the reason why I've chosen to do it this way, and I'm going to have to change the flow of the placement, is because I wanna keep all the conversation items together, okay? So I wanna be able, in terms of the divs that we have written here, I wanna be able to say, this is all part of conversation, all right? And then this is all part of the chat, okay? So that's why I made the choice I've made. It's more a uh, HTML logical decision in terms of, you know, if I ever had to separate these things out into components, all right, it would be much easier to separate out these three divs into a separate component and then these three divs into a separate component rather than having six individual components that I have to shuffle around. I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to doing it either way. I've just chosen to do it this way. It's up to you how you want to do it, okay? But this is the way I've chosen for this video. Now, I want to add some presentation, obviously, like it looks pretty ugly at the moment. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to come over to my chat.css and I'm going to use my second snippet, which is LD GC app chat sections styles. I'm going to tab. You're going to get a whole bunch of CSS that I've written here, all right? So basically I've made that search container, conversation list and new message container, made them blue, right? For the search container, I've added a border radius on it so that it has a curvature on the top left hand side. We had some box shadow and a Z index, right? The Z index is probably more, you're gonna understand how that works later, but I just needed it so that it would be a little bit higher than the conversation list for the purpose of uh, scrolling and things like that. Then I've got the new message container and that has a border top and a border radius set to it. The border radius is on the bottom left hand corner, you know, and that caters for this thing down here. Then we have chat title where I've given, and the chat form, sorry, giving them both a background color of hash EEE, so a slightly gray color, which is a little bit different to the chat list, uh, message list, sorry. And then I've got the chat tile where I've set the font color, giving it a bold and all that stuff. That represents this over here. And then a bit of box shadow and border radius as well for that corner. And the same with the chat form, I've added a border radius in the bottom right corner and a border top, okay? Pretty straightforward what I've covered here. Now, if I save this and we go over and look at what we've got, obviously it doesn't look very pretty right now. 
And that's because we haven't placed anything inside of a grid, right? In fact, we haven't even defined that this container is yet a grid, right? So we probably need to do that first. But I'm gonna let you try this yourself. So try and think about how you would get each of the items that we've just added into their appropriate positions. Now, in terms of specifying the height here of the first row, I believe I've set that to 71 pixels high. Let me just double check my notes here. Uh, yes, it's 71 pixels high for the first row. Then the middle row grows as much as possible. And then the last row is 78 pixels high. And then for this column, it's 275 pixels wide. Okay, so with all that knowledge, I want you to pause the video now, give this a try, try and set up the grid, and then try and place everything in its appropriate position. Okay, so pause the video now, give that a go, and come back to me when you've done that. So how'd you go? Were you able to work it out? If so, fantastic. If not, well, we'll go through it together right now. Okay, so basically the first thing I would do is I would want to define the thing as a grid, okay? And specify how many columns and rows we want, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do first. And I'm going to use a matrix for this, a responsive matrix. Even though this is not responsive, I'm still gonna do it anyway. So up here, firstly, I'm gonna set the chat container to be a grid, like so. Now that creates this, this scenario here, and you're like, okay, well, we need to define the rows and columns, right? So let's do that. But I'm gonna use the grid property to do this. And the first thing I'm gonna do is define my matrix. So I'm gonna have my search container, like so in the first column. Then I'm gonna have my chat title in the second column. And then I'm gonna say that this row is 71 pixel high, all right? Then I go to my second row, and I'm gonna say, okay, I want my conversation list like so, and then my chat message list. And I'm gonna give this a one FR, right? Cause I want it to be as high as it needs to be. Then for the next row, I'm going to say new message container, and we'll say chat form, right? And this is 78 pixels high, okay? Then I'm gonna specify my columns. Now I mentioned the first column was exactly 275 pixels wide, so I'm just gonna add that, and then one FR. Cool, and when I do this, we now at least have the appropriate dimensions, okay? The thing is, we don't yet have everything that we want where we want it, okay? Some things are kinda of off target. So the conversation list at the moment is taking advantage of that auto placement and being over there. But that's because we haven't specified the grid areas yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna grab my search container, which is this selector here, and I'm gonna give this a grid area and set it to search container. All right, when I save that, nothing really changes because it was the first option in the HTML anyway. But the next thing I'm gonna do is create a selector for my chat message list, uh, sorry, conversation list, and do this. And then I'm gonna put a grid area on this and go conversation list. I'm gonna save that. Now you can see that the conversation list is actually in the first column in that second row. Now we need to get the new message section down to the very bottom here. At the moment, we have the chat message list in there. So let's sort that out. So the next one down, new message container, grid area, and I'm pretty sure I called it new message container. If I save this, now we've got everything for the conversations where they should be in this left column. Now it happens to be that everything else is in its appropriate order, but I wanna be complete here and basically put all the rest in. So grid area, we'll go chat title, make sure that still works and it does. Then we'll do the chat form grid area chat form, and then I'll add a selector for chat message list, 
and we'll make sure that the grid area for this is chat message list and save. Now everything is where we want it. And if we look, this is almost the same. Okay, I think I'll put that is the title instead of this is the title. So I'll just quickly fix that up. So I'll put this instead and save. And now everything should be the same. Cool. Wait, hang on. Down the bottom I put two T's. Did I? This is the form section. Then we'll check again. And everything appears to be the same. Cool. So that is the first part of our application. And that's all I'm going to show in this video. So I'll see you all in the next one.